Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about MTA radar with the power amplifier transmitter. So, MTA radar we have already seen in the previous video. <coughs> MTA radar stands for moving target indicator. Moving target indicator. So moving target indicator and pulse Doppler radar, these two are used to identify the moving targets among the stationary clusters. Stationary clusters, clusters are nothing but stationary objects which are un which are not required in the case of MTA radar and pulse Doppler radar. So MTA radar is specially designed for the identification of moving targets among large number of clusters by using pulse transmitters. Okay, these are these are MTA radar and pulse Doppler radar are originated from the pulse Doppler radars. So definitely in the MTA radar case also we are using a pulse transmitter, a modulated signal. We are transmitting, and in the receiving part we are taking the difference between the transmitter transmitted signal and received signal to get the time difference and as well as Doppler frequency shift. Okay, so this is the MTA radar now. MTA radar can be designed with two different types. There are two types of MTA radars available. They are They are the first one is MTI radar with power amplifier transmitter, power amplifier as transmitting section, power amplifier transmitter, and the second type of MTI radar is MTI radar. with power oscillator transmitter okay so by seeing these two names we can understand that in the transmitting section one time we are using power amplifier and in the transmitting section another time we are using power oscillator and power oscillator section okay but the receiver part is almost same because the receiver is having must be having a mixer to mix the received signal with the transmitting signal to get the difference between the transmitted signal and the received signal to find what is the Doppler frequency shift occurred after some time. Okay. So in the transmitting section of this MTA radar, we are using amplifiers that means internally signal is generated and it is amplified and then transmitted then that such type of MTA radars are known as MTA radar is MTA radar with the power amplifier transmitter and if we are generating the signal itself oscillating section by using a high power ampli high power oscillators like magnetron oscillators then it is MTA radar with the power oscillator so here example I will tell you here Examples of this MTA radar with the power amplifiers and MTA radar with the power oscillators are MTA radar, uh, power amplifier example is so in the case of power amplifier we can take example as power amplifier klystron amplifiers klystron amplifier so klystron amplifiers can be used as power amplifiers for the design of MTA radar with power amplifiers and in power oscillator section for power oscillators we will use magnetron oscillator magnetron oscillator so these are the two different types of main devices we are using in the transmitting section so if you are incorporating an amplifier high power amplifiers like a klystron amplifier then it will be a magra MTA radar with the power amplifier transmitter and if you are using magnetron oscillator that means the signal will be generated within the oscillations itself then it is known as 
MTR adder with the power oscillator transmitter. Now in this video, I am going to explain about MTR adder with the power amplifier transmitter. Okay, in the next video, I will explain power oscillator transmitter. So MTR adder with the power amplifier transmitter. So this is the block diagram of MTR adder with the power amplifier transmitter. The block diagram looks somewhat uh, complex, but it is very easy if you understand. See the transmitting section, what are the different components involved in the transmitting section. See by seeing the diagram alone, we cannot identify which is the transmitting section, which is the receiving section because if there is a section called receiver exciter which is there in between transmitting section and receiving section. <coughs> See, the stalo, coho and this mixer. The combination of these three is known as receiver exciter. Receiver exciter. Okay. The same combination, the same setup we will be also have in the case of MTA radar with the power oscillator transmitter. Here also we have the same setup. A stable local oscillator. Stalo stands for Stalo stands for stable local oscillator, coho stands for coherent oscillator. Okay, I will write here in the next slide so that if it is very easy to understand for you when you go through. Stalo, stalo means stable local oscillator with a frequency FL. Okay, STALO stands for stable lock loss letter with a frequency FL and COHO stands for coherent oscillator. It is also like lock loss letter but with a free different frequency like IF. This stable local, uh, this coherent oscillator is equal to intermediate frequency generator. You should know this point. Intermediate frequency generator. That means we can say Fc is equal to Fif. Intermediate frequency. Fc nothing but coherent oscillator frequency that is equal to intermediate frequency. Okay. Now coming to the block diagram. So stable local oscillator generates a local oscillator frequency FL and coherent oscillator which is coherent means in phase. What do you mean by coherent? In phase. So that frequency generated by this FC as FIF. Okay, I will tell you what do you mean by in phase. Now these two signals are mixed together, mixed together by through this mixer and given to this power amplifier because in the MTA radar with the power amplifier transmitter, we are using a section called power amplifier. Amplifier does not have the ability to produce the signal itself. Okay, it definitely depends on a source. We need a generator. That signal will be taken by this power amplifier and it amplifies the signal and transmits. That's it. It cannot generate the signal on its own. That's why we are taking the exciter exciter receiver exciter part where it acts uh, between receiver and as well as transmitter because the local oscillator see pulse modulator gives a pulses i told you already mta radar transmits mta radar and pulse doppler radar both are working with the pulses okay transmits a pulse and waiting for the receiving signal so pulses are being generated by this pulse modulator but internal carrier signal cannot be generated. We need a carrier signal also for this modulation. So that carrier signal nothing but high frequency signal cannot be generated by this transmitting section. Definitely we need a local oscillator or a continuous wave generator that can be nothing but mixing of stable local oscillator signal and as well as coherent signal. The purpose of coherent signal is to make the transmitted signal and received signal in phase with each other. 
okay the purpose of coherent signal is coherent oscillator is to make the transmitted signal and received signal in phase with each other so that when we are retrieve when we are receiving the back after some time we can eliminate whatever that frequency we have added in the transmitting section <laughs> okay that's why they are having the connections with the receiver also in this direction in the backward direction okay so now these two are mixed together fl plus fc these two are uh, given to power amplifier so power amplifier and this pulse um, signal are these two are modulated together these two signals are modulated together and produce a say modulated signal pulse modulated signal here it is pulse modulated signal this pulse modulated signal with a frequency what is the frequency of the transmitted signal now fl plus fc because whatever the signal we have taken here, FL plus FC, that will come here. And <coughs> duplexer, as we are using a single antenna, definitely duplexer should be there. What is the purpose of duplexer? It is used to transmit the transmitting, during transmission, the signal will be transmitted only in this direction. During reception, the signal will be transmitted only in this direction. Okay. Uh, during transmitting section, the signal will not come through towards this receiver only some part of leakage signal very very least amount of leakage signal will come but that cannot be considered okay so duplexer is a device which is used to separate the transmitting and receiving signals and during reception what happens the transmitted signal will be added with some doppler frequency depending upon the target movement Okay, so if the target is coming towards the radar system, then it is plus FD. If the target is moving away from the radar system, then it is minus FD. So depending upon the movement of the object, the transmitted signal frequency FL plus FC plus R minus FD will come. Now, we need to eliminate one by one. FL we don't need, FC is also not required. So that's why first lock loss letter signal is being added from the stable lock loss letter. So FL is eliminated. <coughs> Later, it will be amplified through IF amplifier because I told you already, FC component is nothing but your intermediate frequency component. That's why we are using an IF amplifier to amplify the component. Later, in order to detect what is the original signal and eliminate the transmitted signal frequency, again, coherent oscillator output is also given as the reference signal to the phase detector to detect only the required signal, that is FD. So, output of this one is given to Delay line canceller. I will tell you what is delay line canceller. Then you can understand the purpose of this one. Delay line canceller is used to convert AC signal to DC signal. Okay. To in order to display on the PPI display. In order to display on the PPI display. Okay. Uh, I will write to, I will write to two more points here. Duplexer. See whichever is new to you. I am writing here because I have explained everything orally. Duplexer is a device used to separate transmitting and receiving signals. Okay, this duplexer is necessary when we are using single antenna. Okay, and what else is known to you? Uh, is unknown to you. Um, delay line canceller. What is the purpose of delay line canceller? Delay line canceller. Actually, delay line canceller we are using. I told you already in the case of butterfly effect. Butterfly effect we are having stationary target echoes and as well as moving target echoes. So, how the stationary target echoes can be eliminated from the moving target echoes when you are superimposing all the signals. If you want, you can go back and see the previous video. Uh, <coughs> the butterfly effect can, is nothing but when you are superimposing all the received signals for n number of pulses, then the amplitude of whose target is changing, that is nothing but your moving target. The amplitude of remaining targets nothing but stationary targets are always constant for any number of pulses but when the on the ace code display this nature kill okay but when you are displaying such type of signals on ppi display it is not possible because ppi is plan position indicator which gives only dc values not ac values so that's why delay line cancellers are used to convert ac component 
into DC component or in other words we can say <coughs> we can also say bipolar video pattern bipolar video pattern into so by delay line cancellers are also be used to convert bipolar video pattern into unipolar video pattern unipolar video pattern this is very very important point you need to understand because when you are going for displaying on ppi display bipolar video patterns cannot be displayed on ppi display but a scope display can display a scope is nothing but is having an amplitude variation so amplitude variations can be like this so it will be having both positive and as well as negative bipolar video pattern but on ppi display which can display only blips like this so it will be having some concentric circles some blips are there like this the position of the target can be indicated in terms of blip blip is nothing but a point at certain distance so it will be not having any bipolar pattern so in order to display such type of waveforms on the empty radar output or pulse doppler radar output such type of moving target outputs on a ppa display definitely you should go for uh, unipolar video pattern in that case a by uh, delay line cancellers are very very important to convert bipolar to unipolar or you can also say ac component to dc component in other terminology okay this is the mti radar with the power amplifier transmitter thank you